Operational excellence is providing the best possible patient care as efficiently as is possible. And I think that without taking a moment to step back and look at the little things that get in the way of doing your job the best that you can, um, it's hard to correct those small problems. We've been seeing an increase in the number of fairly sick pediatric patients that we're having presenting to our emergency department. Um, and because sick pediatric patients um, aren't common, it was highlighted as an area where maybe we could be a little bit more efficient and that our staff wanted to feel more comfortable with the management of these patients. We needed to figure out a way to um improves the staff's ability to deal with these patients and increase their comfort level without having exposure to them on a regular basis. His work breathing is still quite significant. Now he's starting to sound muffled when he talks to you. So what we are doing is using mannequins or fake pretend patients um, to help us practice our patient care. So the big thing that we're hoping to do is to identify all of the small little things that can get in the way of providing optimal patient care when it's not something that we practice often. Okay, we'll go ahead and give the sucks now. We'll go to three to you on this side. Uh, so two per kilo again, so 40. We like to make these scenarios as, as real as possible. Um, and one of the things that we found with them is that uh, they really, work well to reveal problems in our uh, systems and setups in the department. So where equipment is stored, um, barriers around how patients are moved around the department, uh, how our transfer of accountability is given. And then as an entire group, we debrief afterwards and we focus specifically on what we call latent safety threats or things that got in the way of providing the best possible care. And so we might have to look through this pump specifically and also our processes for how we're charging our pumps. We go back and look at the potential solutions that we have and can run the same simulation case again and see whether the solutions we're suggesting or trying to implement actually correct the problem or whether we need to tweak it again before we make it real time. So this is about both process and practice. So by trying to identify ways that we can improve our process, we are also by chance giving our staff the opportunity to practice patients that they may not otherwise see on a regular basis. They like the experience, uh, it increases their comfort level. Um, it also helps us improve our systems to make the care for these patients more effective. Nobody likes working somewhere where the things that drive them crazy on a day-to-day -day basis aren't fixable. And I think that taking small steps to strategically make the environment that you work in better is really empowering and allows you to enjoy your day-to-day -day job a lot better.